Welcome to today's episode of the Stray Cat Diaries, or Not So Stray Cat Diaries. Because, as you're about to see, this is our front door with the porch. We have... Kittens! There's Harry. Jared. Uh, the black ones I can't tell the difference between, so one of them's called Baba and the other one's called Dee Dee. Um, this is their little area that we've made for them. Let me shut the door. So we have, uh, I'll take you a tour of the crib. Um, we've got the cat bed that we had outside because that was a good transition thing for them so they knew. Um, and we've made this bed for them here. And we have this old box which our old cat Midge who used to sleep in on the kitchen tables, his favourite spot. Um, and I think he'd appreciate that. And then we have this old cat pyramidy thing that the cats absolutely love. Hey, you guys. Hello, Harry. You really see it. We're really seeing their personalities come out now. Um, Jared is still a maniac, aren't you, Jared? Charges about, plays on anything. Has already given me, poked me in the eye twice. Um, Lots of fun. Harry loves his cuddles. When you come in, he just gets on his back and he's like, Give me cuddles. I want cuddles. Then we've got Baba or Dee Dee. I'm not sure. Lots of pairing going on. I don't know if you can hear it. Hello. Hello, you guys. <clears throat> and it's, it's going really well. They've been with us about four days. So they're about 11 weeks old now. Hello. Hello, little one. Um, they're about 11 weeks old. And uh, pretty much not ready to be rehomed. So the idea was that I'd... You can... Cats generally get rehomed between 8 and 10 weeks. You want to go more 10 weeks if you can. And we left them as long as possible with mum, cat. But what's happening is now they're getting bigger. Um, they... We're getting a bit too sort of explorey outside. Obviously, there's a big car park with 40, 50 odd cars in it every day and machinery and stuff. So it was getting a bit too dangerous. Um, so we took them the other night, about four or five nights ago. Hello. And the idea is to keep them for... We're going to get them, take them to an animal shelter this week. Look at Harry. What are you doing? <laughs> um, we're going to get take them to an animal shelter this week to be rehomed we thought we'd keep them for a few days make sure they're healthy and also just spend a bit of time um, just getting more friendly with them and it's, it's really helped them Jared was already very friendly but um, and Harry was pretty friendly but pretty nervous as well he's really got as you can see quite relaxed and Baba one of the black ones is really really friendly now and Dee Dee one just struggles a little bit um still getting used to humans and stuff it's fine with me but still a bit sort of nervous of everything um it was a little bit tough a couple of things obviously mum cat's still around so for the first sort of night and the next day she was calling out a little bit which made me feel horribly guilty i know i'm doing the right thing but i felt terribly guilty um and then worse still, one day I came in here, a mum cat had found them and she was sitting on this windowsill outside. So there's our car over there. So down to the left of the car is where they normally, they lived for a while. And she was looking in. And then she, so she comes to visit. Um, she doesn't seem too stressed out. She just kind of watches them. And the other night I'd, I was feeding the kittens and mum cat was outside the front door here. And I opened the door and depressingly for mum cat, the, the kittens didn't even bat an eyelid. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, they didn't bat an eyelid and mum cat didn't seem that bothered. She sort of came in a little bit and stuff. Um, we get, the plan is once the kittens have been rehomed, then we continue feeding the mum cat and get her to the point where we can um, capture her and get her take her to the vets to have her done and stuff and see how we get on with her. I think uh, once the kittens are gone, we'll get a bit more friendly with mum cat and stuff. So spend a bit more time with her. But the kittens are really developed well. 
and they're they're pretty much ready to be rehomed. So this week we'll all be about finding a local charity for them, and it's been it's been really nice having them. Um, they they get on great. They love human contact, which is the main thing. So obviously they sleep in here and stuff. Um, but we have our uh, hallway inside the, out there the the hallway, so. We'll shut the dogs away and then let them go roam for a couple of hours and stuff just to get them used to all the different sights and sounds of human life and everything. Just to get them as best prepared as we can, really. Um, do you guys want some food? What are you doing, Harry? Jared? You're Jared, don't you? Not Harry. Oh, you fell off the box trying to grab me camera. That's silly. Silly Billy. This, this has proved to be an amazing toy. It's an old dog collar. For when they have like, operations and stuff and I just built it and it's an amazing toy because it rolls around and they all bundle inside and outside it so yeah various little toys and stuff giant dog toy there that they play about inside but overall and it's quite good that this place has got windows and stuff like low down because it just lets them see the outside world it lets them get used to cars going by other cats walking by humans postmen all that sort of thing that they're going to have to get used to. So, yeah, I think they're ready to be fed. So that is this week's Cat's Diaries. I hope I'm being attacked by a little black one here now. What are you doing? As you can see, they're, they're, they're getting big, aren't they? <laughs> Hello, Harry. Harry is just the snuggle monster now. Yeah. But they're doing well. As you can see, like they're, they're a lot more developed now and they're a lot more outgoing and Harry's grabbing my camera what are you doing? what are you doing Harry? Jared, Jared, what are you doing? stop grabbing my camera hello Harry see look he's getting brave now he's a brave he's a bit of, I think he's a bit of an idiot Harry but he's lovely right there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully next week we, might, we probably won't have any kittens. So it'll be the last update. But yeah. I think they're ready for nice loving homes now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.